All right, so hi guys, welcome to Greedy Trader again. Uh, this is me um, on your favorite YouTube channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can uh, read your footprint charts. So if you see my prior video, how to set up footprint charts on Sierra. So I'm going to use Sierra charts again to show you guys how you can read your footprint charts. All right, so footprint charts can be, so if you go to your chart settings, um, you would notice that... <clears throat> Footprint charts can be put in days, minutes per second, or I can put them as a range. Uh, some people like to see them in range per bar, true ticks. Um, so essentially every 10 or 20 ticks, you form a new bar. Um, in the case of using it for FX, I prefer to use the at the time frame for bar period. Okay, so this is basically one hour, All right? So 60 minutes, as you can see, one hour. So I prefer to use that. Okay, so just to sort of put everyone on an even keel. All right, so the next step, in this process is how do we read or visualize what a foot what's going on with the footprint chart so i'm just going to pull this over center it on the screen and then i am going to expand this out a little bit so we can see very clearly what's going on uh with the numbers All right so first and foremost when you read a footprint chart so this is bid volume this is ask volume when you read a footprint chart you read it diagonally so you take it from left in this case from left to right so we read it across this way the reason being is that we sell at the bid and we buy at the offer okay so if someone was trading say this is a one pip uh, so this is volume for every one uh, tick we go so every one pip we move this is the volume associated with each pip All right so if we were say for example there was a trader trading on the bid at, let's say 132 and then we trade at the offer, say there's a one pip spread, so that's 132 flat to 132.01, okay? So that's one pip spread. So at the bid, it's 132. So if you wanted to sell, you'll sell at the bid, and if you wanted to buy back, you'll buy at the offer, okay? So if a trader's sitting on the bid, then they're sellers, and if a trader's sitting on the offer, then they're buyers. So we go, <coughs> so we go up, <coughs> to buy on the offer and we go down to sell at the bid and that's why we have to read it diagonally so essentially any buyers at 132 will really be buying at 132.01 so these are the two that are associated the offer here versus the bid so when we look at this we try and see how much offer we have versus bid right so if we have a higher offer for example versus a lower bid then we say that the traders are overweight on the offer side okay and if a traders are overweight on the offer side but we haven't seen a great degree of price movement then it probably means that those traders are being absorbed right so that's the basic premise of a footprint chart so that's how we read it so when we look at a footprint chart we look at it bid offer bid offer bid offer bid offer bid offer bid offer all right so the key is to kind of see how the offers come in relative to the bids and what point we are when we're seeing this kind of price action right so this is pretty crucial um uh, so that's the basic premise really footprint charts are really simple it's just really looking at all the volume traded at every single price line okay and then trying to see in effect how many traders are stepping up on the offer and how many people are coming down to hit the bid so it just depends on what you're looking at so that's basically how you read a footprint chart all right so if you want to combine that with your delta so your delta basically takes the ask volume and subtracts the bid volume from it so essentially a positive delta would mean that we had a higher ask and lower bid okay and that would show up in green and a negative delta means we'll higher have a higher bid and a lower ask so let's take for example we're looking at this uh, particular um a bar here this one hour bar so over the hour we had a 37 positive delta which means that there were definitely more buyers in here than there were sellers um in effect but the delta is quite low for the spread um you can see that it's 37 and the spread is quite wide so this is obviously saying that we're overweight offers at the moment at a pretty high price so the dynamics may well change okay so we want to be careful at this stage and here you can see that we're even the delta is risen, but again, the price movement is a little bit restricted. So again, we're overweight offers. So again, incredibly overweight offers just across these two hours alone, right? So 
Delta is quite important depending on where you're seeing the delta positive and where you're seeing effectively the delta negative. So here you can see that the delta was negative. So definitely a lot more bids were coming in at this point here. So we were heavily overweight bids. And then you can see the stop hunt. We had a negative 211 delta. This is kind of a bit whack um, because we have a very high negative delta and prices are moving up. So that tells you traders are being stopped on. So this is basically the basic premise around footprint charts. There's a lot more to it. Um, but again, like I said, I've got a Unimi course. And if you look at the description link below, you'll be able to see that I have a full course on reading how to use footprint charts uh, to improve your trading. Um, you just go to that. It's a Unimi course. It's pretty cheap. I just go to the link in the description below and that will take you there. Any further questions, guys, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you very much indeed. I hope you enjoyed this very short video here on how to look at footprint charts and delta uh, together. Awesome stuff, guys. See you in the next video.